we can actually put up boundaries. We can actually start saying no. So if you're on the not in the too feminine nice girl box, um, you're probably an accommodator, like myself. How many of you are accommodators in this room? Okay. So what happens if you're an, a, an accommodator? What happens? Saying yes all the time. Stressed out. Taking on more and more work, right? How effective can you be when you're in that position? No. You're always juggling. And what it does is that it limits your ability to take higher visibility projects. Projects that are going to stretch you in your skill set, that are going to help you get noticed, that are going to help you get promoted, that are going to help you have more impact. So here's a strategy on how to say no politely. If you are the person who always has to take the notes, is the one volunteering, set up a rotation system so that you uh, delegate that task to other people on your team. So it's not always you. Simple. If you're always getting tasked with planning the events, here's what you say. Say, hey, um, thank you for offering that to me. Uh, I'm actually busy working on another project with Nancy, but Jeff down the hall, he would be great for this. This would be a great stretch <laughs> assignment for him. Why don't you maybe try go asking him? I think he would love it. So no harm, no foul, right? It's a polite way, it's, a, it's sort of an assertive way to say no. You're not hurting anyone's feelings, you're just politely saying no. So forming those boundaries is really important.